Hey guys, it's manager Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the rules of bocce ball. So bocce ball is a fun game. You can play balls competitively on a bocce court, or you can just play in your backyard with some friends. This is a pretty simple game to understand, but today I'm gonna to go through all the rules that you need to know, both when playing more competitive style or just playing with your friends in your backyard. It's a fun, easy game for the summertime, so I thought I'd share with you all the rules that you want to know and how to score this game. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration content just like this, definitely the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload as I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to dive into these rules of bocce. So when playing bocce, it is the goal to get the most points. So your goal is to score more points than your opponent. You can split it up in a few different ways depending on the amount of people you have. It is two teams that play against each other. So if you have two people, you can play 1v1. If you have four people, you can play 2v2. Or if you have eight people, you can play 4v4. When playing bocce, there are four balls for each team as well as a little white ball called the Polina as well as the Jack. So depending on some terminology, when you're playing bocce, the first thing you're going to do is throw out the polina, and you roll that about halfway out on the bocce court. And then you alternate. One team throws a bocce ball, then the other team throws a bocce ball. And you alternate back and forth, underhand tossing or rolling your bocce ball to get it closest to the white ball or the jack. When rolling your bocce balls, you are able to move the jack if you hit it. So your bocce ball can hit the jack and move it out of the way. That could be used for some sort of strategy. And you are able to hit your opponent's balls out of the way. So if your opponent's ball is closest to the jack, you might want to hit your opponent's ball and get it moved out of the way. When throwing the balls, you also want to make sure that it, if you're playing on a court, it doesn't hit the side of the court or go out of bounds, because if it does this, it's a dead ball and doesn't count for any points. So if for some reason the Polina is close to one of the sides of the court, you want to make sure that you don't hit the side of the bocce court, you don't want to hit that wall, or your ball becomes a dead ball, which means it can't score any points. For scoring, the way you score is whatever team has a ball closest to the jack is who scores points. So if the red team has one ball closest to the jack, they would score one point. And then you score a point for every ball that's closer than your opponent's first ball. So if for some reason red had all four of their balls right near the jack and black had their balls farther away, red would score four points. You can score up to four points as you're throwing four balls, but it's however many balls that you have closer to the jack than your opponent. And generally the game is played to 12 points. You could agree on a different score if you wanted to, but it's generally played to first to 12 points, win by two. And if you win one round, so if you get the points one round, the next round you throw the polina and you throw your bocce ball first. So that's the basic rules of bocce. It's a pretty fun, um, simple sport to play. You do want to be careful with the equipment. They are kind of fragile. You're not whipping it like a bowling ball when you're throwing. But it is a fun sport to play both in your backyard or more competitively on a bocce court. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see a video like this for any other sport, let me know that in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Mm -hmm.